Hello and welcome back. As always, my name is Laser, and today I am back on Stitches because I want to answer the question, is Stitches back? In the latest Lieutenant Morales patch, he got a whole bunch of modifications to him, a whole lot of buffs. So why don't we go over his abilities in case you are not familiar with them. Please notice that Stitches is a melee warrior classified as medium difficulty to play. His Q ability is a skill shot in a line, pull the first enemy hit towards you, temporarily stunning them and dealing a little bit of damage. His W ability is slam, this is a frontal cone like ability, instant AoE damage to enemies within the actual target area. His E ability is an instant targeted ability ability deals a whole bunch of damage to minions but a whole lot less to actual heroes regardless of this however restores 20% of your maximum health his trait and or passive is vile gas when damaged stitches emits a gas cloud that persists for four seconds enemies who enter it are poisoned and take damage over three seconds when it comes to his actual heroic abilities putrid bile or gorge we're gonna talk a little bit more about these two options in game this is the uh chef stitches skin because why not as for amount we're gonna go for the treasure goblin with the orange tint but without further ado let's skip straight to the actual gameplay Stitches want to play. The battle begins shortly. Alright guys, here we go. So first let's check out them teams. On the enemy side we got a Stitches, Kale, Abator, Tyriel, and a Tassadar. And on our side we got an Abator, Rainer, Vala, Lieutenant Morales, and a Stitches. Curious that they don't have a Morales as well. Oh well. So they don't really have a healer now, do they? They have Tassadar who does shields. And that's about it. Right, so our first talent for Stitches is gonna depend on the enemy team. Do they got a, a lot of actual ability damage? And they kinda do, considering Kale Toss, Tassadar, and even Tyriel's E ability. They do have some nice ability damage. But I'm not really worried that much about them. So I'm gonna go for Hungry for more. If they actually had a Jaina, I would have taken Damp and Magic. Which basically is block but for actual ability damage not physical damage so uh that's auto attack damage by the way hungry for more is the talent we're going to be picking up for stitches collecting regeneration glows permanently increases your max health by 30 30 free zero so permanently that's the key word there these two talents are brand new to stitches both damp and magic on hungry for more and from my point of view these are the strongest options for stitches at level one all right we're gonna come into lane since we don't have any actual specialist i'm gonna go in here and i'm gonna focus on getting the actual close because i want to pump up my health okay having more health always helps because it's gonna matter against physical or actual ability damage so only go for damp and for more if the enemy team is really heavy on actual uh uh, spell damage and or ability damage. <laughs> Damn it, I missed you, Tassadar, but I will not miss you again. You'll have to excuse the voice a little bit, guys. This is my third uh, actual attempt at this video because, well, <laughs> disconnects, lag, and my computer deciding it wants to shut down for a second or two. So, yeah, that doesn't really go so well. So this skin, the Shift Stitches skin, actually got improved stuff in the latest uh, patch. Okay, so animations and whatnot. And we are pushing this with no actual problem. Testar cannot really contest my dominance. Because I got a test. Because I got a. I got a aperture here in the bushes. What are you doing, Tess? I'm gonna push you out of lane. Push you out of lane. Even with your freaking shield. You still got no chance. Alright, let's check kills. Nothing yet. So no first blood. Two minutes into the game. The thing is, I want if I hook the Tessadar, he's just gonna void shift. So look, I'm trying to hook him now. Here I go. And did he void shift? No, he was smart enough not to because a uh, shield would have been enough to get him to safety there. I'm just slowly grinding away at his health bar, but this is not getting me anywhere. Nighttime has come, and I'm gonna come up here and assist the Fallout with the actual seeds from these little undead uh, plant-like zombies. I guess I never understood what these things... They call them shamblers. What is a shambler anyway? Is that like a zombie? Oh, do they have cloakers? No, they don't. Tyriel, coming in. As the assistant of Abature. I'm on the Tyriel. I'm using my ear ability. Nobody's assisting me, so I'm getting the hell out of here. Talent at this level. Wait, Tess? Ah, damn. Talent on this level is going to be Amplified Healing because I actually have a Morales on my team. What Amplified Healing does is increase all healing effects on you by 30%. And all regeneration effects as well. That means you're actually going to take, for example, I don't know, uh, what should I say? Uh, healing Fountain, okay. The actual mana you would get from Healing Fountain is going to be affected by the talent as well. Now, you shouldn't go for Amplified Healing when you don't actually have... 
a dedicated healer on your team like I got the Morales okay so I got the Morales so I'm actually gonna get a lot of use out of that talent if you don't have a healer however my uh, advice would be for Putrid Ground Slam will infect your targets okay with uh... hey guys why don't we focus on this guy huh he's a lot more squishier there you go everybody focus the material like that why the hell would they do that let's go top and assist with that terror i picked up six uh, regeneration globes so far so that means oh, it's seven so seven times three that's uh what 21 so 210 actual extra health four stitches at this point i was telling you about guys about uh what the you ugly son of a man no 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 oh look i body blocking i'm body blocking yeah uh, guys, I'm gonna need some healing. Morales, where are you? Where's the dead? Okay, Morales is on me. Here's the hook on the stitches. Boom, boom. Where's the Abateur? Okay, Abateur is on the Rainer, who's doing a lot of damage from the safety of the bushes there. Come on, Jimmy boy. Jimmy boy. Jimmy boy. No, no, Jimmy boy. Kill him. Kill him, Jimmy boy. Good job. Wait, wait. I got a trick. I got a trick. I got a trick. I got a trick. Ah! Told you I got a trick. Wait. Ah, if I had, if I only had the assistance of Abateur there. <laughs> All right, I was telling you guys about wait. I wasn't telling you guys anything. All right, I wasn't saying saying anything right now. Let me just fight a little bit more of these guys. Tyrael, you ugly. Tyrael. Actually, he's, he kind of looks cool with that skin, if you ask me. Another kill. Ah, uh, what? Okay, and a kill on our side while I hit the dirt, finally. Uh, where's the Abature, I wonder? Where's our Abature? Uh, I'm gonna die now, thank you very much. No! No, 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 no! I'm not gonna die, not even close to dying there, obviously. But a kill on the enemy material, though. Where are they? Wait, where's my Abature, damn it. Uh, I'm gonna explain all of this in a second, guys, I promise. Abature, where the hell are you, man? Oh, 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 we got... Oh, on the hook! Here's the hook! Perfectly executed! Okay, 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 okay. Keep on hooking. Laser 2015. Don't quote me on that one, guys. What the? Oh, hi! Thanks for the seeds, Kale. Oh, look! And here comes the hook! And yet again, a perfect land. Kill him, Vala. There we go. Here comes Tyrael. I hate him. I'm out of mana. I actually gotta go back. What? You wanna... But, but I'm out of mana, you guys care not, I understand, I understand, you guys care not, I'm gonna face tank this guy. Where is my god ab damn abature, if you would just step into these fights, it would be so nice. So nice, no, oh god. Okay, why are we not focusing the more squishier time? You missed me because you're a subpar stitches, and I know how to hook. <laughs> if you don't know how to hook, guys, there's no point in playing stitches, okay? A bad hook in stitches is well a worthless stage just are you here okay missed him there but anyway, it was a blind shot it doesn't count doesn't count all right let me go back i was trying to explain the damn talents before they interrupted me like 20 times so if you don't got a dedicated healer please stay away from mercenary lord at this uh, point in time is garbage i would recommend putrid ground what does putrid ground do it will infect your uh the targets of slam okay the targets affected by slam with vile gas this helps a lot with actual lane clear so keep that in mind on maps like i don't know tomb of the spider queen all right uh at this level level 7 tenderizer your basic attack slows enemies movement speed by 25 percent for 1.25 seconds this will actually allow your team to wait wait kale kale why don't you come this way kale 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 i'm gonna go to you if you don't come to me kale Alright, so like I said, that tenderizer is there to actually help your team stick on the enemies, okay? Allow them to do the damage, that's why you pick up. Tenderizer, add a viable option at this point, savor the flavor. Using Devour an enemy hero permanently increases your health regen by 2 per second, permanently, okay? Very strong option as well. And we are finally at level 10. I picked up Devour, why did I do that? Why did I pick up Devour? Well, it recently got a buff, it used to be that... While you actually had a hero within your belly, okay, you would move a lot slower. However, that is not the case anymore. What does uh, Gorge do? Completely consume an enemy hero. You put him in your belly for 4 seconds. You can take him anywhere you want. He is immune to everything while he is inside your belly. And when the Gorge ends, he also takes a little bit of actual damage. Uh, Abator is here, I believe. Okay, you saw him? He's here. If he's silly, I could actually... Oh, no. 
Hungry, hungry stitches. Hungry, hungry stitches. Kill the enemy stitches. No, that's a clown. That's a clown. I don't want to focus the Tyrion because he can just queue away. Where did he put his queue? Where did he put his queue? This way. Put it here. Put it here. I know he did. Ah, oh, damn it. He got away. See, he's on the top lane. Uh, okay, word. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. No! Why is I missed? <laughs> damn it. Alright guys, so uh, let's talk about Putrid Bile while we have a second. So what does this do? Emit a slowing uh, bile puddle. So this will basically make Stitches take a giant uh, poop. Okay, so it, it takes a giant poop for what, a, what is it? 8 seconds. Okay, it spreads bile everywhere. The actual bile slows the enemy team uh, movement speed. Okay, all heroes that is in it that are in the actual bile. I'm gonna die now. No, relentless. Relentless. Relentless! Okay, that's enough. Kill me already. There we go. At least we're gonna talk about talents now. So, while you're actually executing the bile, you move 20% uh, faster. Okay, so you are able to spread the bile nice and thick. Again, this is a very good CC, especially if the enemy team is heavy on actual melee assassins. At level 13, I picked up Relentless for the reasons you just saw. Okay, Stitches' main thing is the hook and the gorge. Okay, or it used to be like this, at least. So you hook a guy, you eat him, and you drag him into your team. This serve can can serve as a great initiation to an actual team fight. Very potent ability, very potent combo from Stitches. Okay, so and again, if you're taking Putrid Bile, you want to get in position, okay, to spread spread the love, okay, nice and thick everywhere. But you can't do that, okay? You can't execute your role correctly as a tank, as Stitches, if you are slowed, okay, if you are CC'd. So this is the reason why we pick up Relentless. Out of viable options at this point, hold on. Uh, helping Hand is a very nice talent, I enjoy Helping Hand, but not for the reasons you might believe. No, Helping Hand is used to actually save your allies from danger, okay, it can save a bunch of lives, no problem, but more importantly, it can be used to troll your own team, and that, the most important thing in the game, if you ask me, trolling your own team is bloody priceless. Uh, other viable options, well, if you're actually going for the slam belt on stitches, I don't know if it's that popular anymore, but if you're going for slam belt, you might want mega smash, which uh, range uh, and arc of smash increase by 25%, which is a big deal, makes a giant smash. Again, if you're going for uh, actual smash belt. Indigestion, well, to be honest, I didn't ever like the Richling that much, so no thank you. Uh, let's see, 11 minutes into the game, we got 15 regen gloves, so that means bonus health of 450 there. I'm pretty tanky, I, I, I mean I'm tanky through my health, okay, I got a lot of health, that's true. Okay, let's go up top. Hungry, hungry stages, hungry, hungry stages. Hey, hey, come back here, bruh. Waste that terror a little bit. Oh, no, 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 no. I was trying to click top. Well, I failed, obviously. Oh, let's check hero damage, huh? You guys are interested in this. Remember when once upon a time Stitches was top on hero damage? Very tanky and best CC in the game. He was like basically carrying games just by himself. He was the strongest hero in the game, no question about it. He had to have Stitches. You have to have Stitches insta pick, first pick, anytime, all the time, no question. There was no actual scenario when Stitches wasn't a good pick, and not only a good pick, like the best pick. Uh, that time, however, is gone. But Stitches at least is not garbage anymore, like he was after the series of nerfs Blizzard made to him. Okay, a good kill on our Morales there, my team fighting. My team fighting. Everybody was kind of fighting. Time fast as And though it was a little bit frightening. It required expert time. I don't know the song, guys. What, I don't know. So we picked up Stone Skin at level 16, and we got a few options here. We can talk about the reason I pick up Stone Skin is because even though you have a lot of health through the newly found, uh, uh, what you call it, hungry for more talent, you st uh, still are a wee bit squishy, and Stone Skin can help a lot with giving you the extra tank you need. You're gonna run to the middle of the enemy team, maybe with Putrid Bile on, okay? You might wanna activate Stone Skin so you can mitigate a ton of actual damage. Again, Stone Skin gives you 30% of your maximum health, and consider it how well that works with hungry for more all right so very strong talent other uh, other viable options for stitches 
Well, there's nobody there, man. I tried a blind hook. Other viable options for stick fishing hook. This increases the range of your hook by 40%. It's a huge increase in range, but it's not an increase in actual travel time, okay? In the speed of the hook. So it's easier for your enemies to actually dodge it. But you can pull off some really nice hooks with this actual talent. So keep that in mind. Everybody was kung fu fighting. Yeah, I know I hooked a tank there. I didn't wanna. Look, I'll eat him and just pick up this, right? Are you guys happy now? I eat him. I know he wasn't the best target, but I tried. Okay, there's a kill on a Rainer. I believe, I think. Okay, I'm chasing the enemy to real. Missed a hook and a lot of damage onto the Tyrell, and the Tyrell will fall. I am taking a lot of damage myself. Oh, uh, the enemy team there. I got my E ability, there it is. I would need the help of, whatchamacallum now? The help of Avatar, unfortunately Avatar is not here. Hello, Stitchy. Damn it! Avatar, why are you not helping me? I don't know. I'm gonna go back and just stay safe. Uh, level 18 for a 16 for the enemy team, 14 minutes and a half into the game. Alright guys, so I told you about stone skin, uh, I told you about fishing hook, these are the two strong options, and there's another one, pulverize, decreases slam cooldown by 2 seconds, and it also slows enemies by 75% for 1 second, this is almost like a standing stun, okay, like a root or something like that, it used to be much stronger, pulverize used to be an actual stun for 1 second, but remove that, okay, they nerfed that because they're too strong, and well, stitches kinda had everything, yes, it was too strong. So, like I said guys, this is my third attempt at actually making this video. Uh, I'm gonna give you my impressions on the new Stitches. Is he garbage? And is he still garbage like he used to be? No. Is he the super strong Stitches we know from the Alpha? No. Stitches now from my point of- <laughs> no. Just a sec guys, we're gonna be back to talking about Stitches in a sec. Okay, the okay, kill almost dead. Okay, kill on the Tyrael. I'm not stopping because this is the most important target. Okay, he used shield there, so there's nothing I can do anymore. Oh, good took by the enemy stitches. Uh, now, if my own aperture would actually give a shoot to help me, that would be good. But they won't. I'm coming back. The rain are still pushing. I'm coming back. Help. Thank you. Okay, I gotta get my E ability on to the... Okay, he's good, he's good. Rainer will finish up. I don't have my freaking. Okay, I don't have my hook to actually use it, and I gotta be careful because I'm very low on health. Okay, so that was a free for one overall. Pretty good, pretty good. What was I doing, honey? And he's like right here. What was I doing? Talents! Oh, yeah, talents! Okay, so talent at level 20. Hungry, hungry stitches. I know this is a funny talent. I know you actually. Uh, pu pull off some nice funny plays with hungry hungry stitches, but it's not the best from my point of view Bolt of the storm is a good option always good to actually have a blink on a hero especially a squishies We're not squishy though What we're gonna go is for hardened shield activate the gain of shield reduce uh, damage taken by 75% For four seconds very important on an actual tank especially when you're in my position Okay, I'm the only tank on the team if you're running double warriors You might consider bolt of the storm with gorge nice combos there nice combos to be had indeed Alright, so I talked about this level. Yes, I did. I talked about stone skin and why it's such a good option for stitches fishing hook again and pulverize the other strong options This one not really shish kebab shish kebab guys It has potential but as long as the actual travel speed of Q is as low as it is frick you bro Watch party. I didn't see yeah the abattoir is on point. Why what is my abattoir doing the whole game? Has he been pushing? Well, this is decently pushed. How about here? I don't know what he's doing. Anyway, so that's about it for actual talent options for Stitches. Now you know. I was actually talking to you guys about my feelings on Stitches. Yes, he is no longer trash. No, he is not the Stitches we know from the Alpha. Okay, the stupidly overpowered, super strong Stitches that would be best on basically every single thing he could have been best on. When it comes to actual damage, CC, tankiness, the works stitches used to be best by all accounts. Damn it. Damn it. That's not good. That's not good. Okay. Good damage on the Tessadar there. I gotta get this guy off my squishy. 
I'm actually slowing him with my pulverized talent. I'm a pulverizing him. I'm a pulver. There he goes. Uh, I wanna hook on that guy. And I eat on that guy. Hey guys, I got somebody for you. Look, here he is. And there he goes. <laughs> good, good stun. Okay. He panicked. Leave the poor guy alone. He just panicked. It's not his fault, guys. We all panic from time to time. See, like this stage is right now is praying to God for his life. It's not gonna help him though because he's a bad stitches. Bad stitches. You got no skin. That means you're bad. What? <laughs> and he's laughing. She's like right next to me. <laughs> Alright, I'm losing my voice really fast here guys again. This is my third attempt at this bloody yeah, Tessa Ah, why would you use void prison? I would have never hit you Tess. It's all a lie. All a lie well, Let's check stats. Let's check builds. You guys told me you guys told me that you want to see builds. Here's the build Add. And please let me know in the comment section down below. How do you guys feel about no stitches? Do you like him? I like him I think overall he's balanced and I definitely think we're gonna see him a bit more in actual competitive play uh, thank you guys for watching, like, favorite, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the content, and I'll definitely see you again soon.